Hey guys, it's Joe Wendell from JLW Games. Uh, first off, I want to apologize kind of for my absence the last week uh, or so because I haven't been very active the last week. I, the last video I posted was like on October 12th, and uh, right now I'm filming this on October 20th, so uh, kind of apologize for that inconvenience, but we lost a lot of people at my job. If you didn't know, I do work at Silver Dollar City at Outlaw Run. Uh, if you don't believe me, uh, go ahead and head over there to your, for yourself and find 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 me over there. So, <clears throat> which if you come next year, I might actually be transferring uh, to the train because that the train sounds like a lot of, would sounds like it'd be a lot of fun actually. And Outlaw Run's kind of getting a little boring working there, um, job wise. I mean, it's a fun place to work. Don't get me wrong, uh, but it's. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's getting a little interesting over there. <laughs> so, I wanted to uh, make another No Limits 2 video here, so let's get started. Uh, I think I wanted to, for my next element, kind of make a 90 degree turn going through the lift almost, uh, going through here, uh, and then add the next element, uh, which I don't exactly know where it, what I want it to be. I'm going to create this turn. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments what element you want to see next on this coaster. I want you guys to help me out on this. So, a lot of you wanted me to put some air time into it, so that's a very big possibility after I create this turn. Uh, I just want your guys' input on what you think would make this coaster unique and really cool. So, also, uh, one of you suggested to use a snap feature to make it a lot easier. Uh, which is very useful, I guess. I didn't even think about using the snap feature. I knew it was there, but uh, I just now thought about it. So, thanks uh, for whoever suggested that. I forgot your name. I can't remember at the top of my head, uh, but thanks. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add some vertexes, vertices, uh, to go under the lift here and to start creating our uh, turn through the lift. All right, select and modify, and kind of move these where I want them. Uh, the snap feature makes it a little bit easier to be a little more precise of where you want it. Uh, easier, I mean, wise to place it in. Uh, you know what I mean. And then I, I'll, I'm just going to end up de pumping the vertices anyways, which will put it wherever to make it the smoothest. All right, let's go into perspective and see what I got here. All right, let's go on the way I want it so far so <clears throat> what we're gonna have to do now is lift these up higher uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the G4 so I can kinda see a little bit better alright we're gonna want to start raising these so let's do so let's go ahead and snap it like using the perspective so I can see what it's going to look like pretty much uh, for the most part okay they're good and there I want it to be a pretty fast turn so I don't want to make it too tall I want it to go pretty quick kinda of like a speed turn and it might give you a little bit of air time too, so this could be a pretty decent air time element as well. So going through the lift right here, just gonna make this a little lower. There we go. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that last piece yet. We'll find out. <clears throat> Let's kind of shape this up just a little bit. It's a little bit too straight. There we go. I think that looks good. Let's take a look at the top view. That looks nice. Really like the side views here. They look pretty cool. So I think after we just uh, add our rolls here on the turn 
and depump the vertices, we'll be pretty much in good shape. So let's go to the track view and uh, take a look. Now some spots I feel like are a little bit <clears throat> not as smooth as I want them to be. I'm going to go back in the end and touch some stuff up to make it uh, as perfect as possible. So if you notice something, remember and realize that I'm far from done. And when I'm done build or making the layout, I'm going to have a touch-up episode where I'm just touching up all these spots. Like kind of like right there. I'll have to touch up, I think. Uh, we'll go through here. I really like that element. I think it's a really unique element. And we'll come through here, and I'm going to kind of have this as a 90-degree turn. Which I think will be kind of really cool. You don't, you want, you're not going to see that very often on a... Uh, B and M, I don't think <clears throat> a turn like that, anyways. Okay, so let's on the track view. I like to usually add the rolls on this view. Can't talk. Just add them every so often to create this turn. There we go. There we go. All right, now we got to go set them. Select and modify here. And change them accordingly. Accordingly. Okay, I can't talk. And I'll set it to no lat G's. This one's definitely going to be the turn one. 19, really. I figured it'd make it less steeper we're gonna have to we're gonna manually change this I don't want don't want it quite there all right that's a 90 degree turn right there all right no lat G's on this one I really like that turn, that's really cool. It's pretty cool looking, I think. I think we should add another roll about right here. And no lat G's on that one. And no lat G's on that one. And then no lat G's. That one was just negative 12. Alright. We got all those set. Let's back up here. Transition, I'm not sure about, but... Manage on that one. I might change these actually a little bit. Alright, that, that's a little better. <clears throat> Alright, now to do a fun part. And go ahead and... Take this and depump the vertices. Right. Control and select those. And we're going to go to element. Uh, if you know No Limits 2, you definitely got to do this quite often. To make it a lot smoother. Which usually takes a little bit. So we'll wait and wait and wait. Wait. Here it goes. See what it does. Okay. It depumped the vertices, so now let's take a look at what it did. It's going to come through here. Let's see at the high speed here. Turn you sideways. I feel like that should be a lot steeper going down there this part anyways. We might change that. <clears throat> Let's try and make this a little steeper. Going downwards. Be a little more thrilling and Alright. That's a little better. Of course, I'm going to have to depump the vertices again to uh, 
fix it completely. Okay. All right. Sorry, I'm a little uh, silent. I'm just trying to get this right. I'm trying to. Yeah, that's why I need to do. I need to turn on the G-force. See what it looks like on the 90 degrees. All right, turned out really well actually. All greens, which is good. <clears throat> All positive, nice and smooth. It's the way we need it. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a little dry. I'm filming this in the morning. I just got up, so. <laughs> And I knew I was due to get another video on, and this is like one of my only days off. So I knew I had to get a video to you guys. Uh, also, I'm trying to work on uh, what I'm going to do for Theme Park Studio next. So stay tuned for that. Uh, be, I haven't uh, stopped on that one park yet. Just make sure you keep watching on that. Keep your eyes out. Because I haven't. Uh, still working on it. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Also, some I think it was one of you suggested I need to plan more on my videos, so uh, that would kind of delay it a little bit more if you want me to plan it out just for a moment. Uh, I actually do have some videos that are ready to come out, but I'm not sure yet if I want to post them, but they're not any of the Theme Park Studio or No Limits videos yet. Those are just kind of off videos. <clears throat> Be sure to check some of my off videos out that don't have to do with uh, my simulation games that I like to play. Um, I want to see what you guys think of those. Stuff like my Minecraft, maybe Destiny that I play. Uh, I want If you guys are into some of those games, I'd appreciate to see what you think on those that I play. Uh, <clears throat> I think you guys would enjoy them <laughs> sometimes. Maybe some of you. I don't know. Just tell me what you think. All right, so that's I think that's gonna wrap up this video for the most part. Uh, I might change change that a little bit in the future, but that'll be on the touch up video uh, later. But for the most part, that's kind of what I was going for on the turn. So next, uh, I want to hear from you guys. You guys are what makes this channel better and better each time so let me know in the comments what elements you want me to put into this ride uh, if you want me to put in airtime hills if you want me to put in a zero g roll or some unique element that you've never seen before uh, that might be a good idea so uh, I want to thank you guys for watching please 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 leave feedback and what you want to see uh, in the on this coaster uh, it would definitely help you I know some of you have suggested airtime some of you suggested one element and uh, I want to see what all of you think so please let me know what you want in in the comment section thank you guys for watching and you guys are awesome see you later make them the best they can be uh, be sure to leave comments if uh, there's anything that can be better or improved uh, so yeah well, let's get back into this coaster that I'm building right now. So I just created a barrel roll and turned it into a zero G roll by raising the nod up node. Uh, obviously, the auto supports are kind of funky, as you can see. Look at that. That's kind of weird. 